Hey there and welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we are going to be comparing um, two different kind of similar foundations, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, they're slightly different formulas, um, but I really want to kind of take a look at them side by side on the skin and see which one kind of um, you know lasts longer, looks better on the skin, um, and kind of take a look at some of those different factors. Now, um, I've already done my eye makeup and my brows, um, so we're going to be able to go right into the skin, but before we do, I just want to kind of read to you what um, each of the foundations are supposed to do. Um, so the Wet n Wild um, Photo uh, Focus Foundation um, is supposed to basically it's, it's been tested under seven light conditions with smartphone models with and without flash and it's supposed to um, eliminate any flashback and basically look like great under the lights and it's supposed to be more of like a matte formula which is why I'm trying it specifically with the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte um, which obviously is supposed to be a demi matte finish, 24-hour um, wear, medium coverage, um, airy light texture on the skin. Um, and I actually was using this like every single day for a while, the L'Oreal, and then I've kind of been switching back and forth to some different foundations. Um, but I think I found, um, I think that these two are going to kind of compare really uniquely on the skin. So I have um, the Infallible Pro Matte in 103 and the Wet n Wild in Buff Bisque. Um, before I actually start putting them on the skin, I'm going to prep my skin with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Um, make sure we're using the, the same primer across the whole skin so we can kind of get a really good image of, you know, what the foundation looks like, um, you know, on the same, you know, prepped skin. So I've already kind of, you know, moisturized, treated my skin. Um, and even though, you know, we're all pretty much like in the actual fall season now, I don't know if it's the same by you, but it has been so sunny and hot. Um, where we are so I'm still wearing um, an SPF um, in my moisturizer as well So we're gonna kind of work that across the skin. I'm gonna put a little bit just on my neck too because we are gonna bring the product down onto our neck and Actually before we go into the skin as well. I really want this to last all day So I'm going to set my primer with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay all day setting spray Okay, and as I said, I've already done um, all my actual like eye makeup, um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, done done my brows. We will be going in to um, conceal and contour and highlight and everything after the foundation is on. Um, so first, the the Wet n Wild, which I've used this a few times now, and it looks really nice on the skin. Um, both of these shades are probably a tiny bit lighter than I would like to go because I like to go just a slightly shade darker than my natural skin tone because the rest of my body is still a little bit more tan. Um, but just taking this, it has kind of like a cool. Um, kind of flat spatula applicator. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild on the right side of my face. So just kind of dotting this along with the spatula here. Um, it's really going to be keeping this on the right side. Alrighty. So let's start working that in with a clean, damp beauty blender before we go into the other side. And I would say this has more of a medium coverage. Um, so I may have to go back in and build this a little bit because I, I kind of want a little bit more of a full coverage. Okay, so now that we've kind of built that up to the coverage that we want, um, I'm going to then take my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte onto the other side. I'm just going to put some of that on the back of my hand and then put it on, kind of the same way, bouncing it with that same damp beauty blender. I'm working that into the skin. Yeah, and I think the colors are pretty close. So this should should match the so both sides of my skin the, the color matches. Alright. And as you see this one has a little bit more coverage on the first application, so we probably don't need quite as much product. Um, though even though they're both extremely affordable, the um, wet and wild photo finish is slightly cheaper. It is a few dollars cheaper. Okay, so now that I have them both worked in the skin, I'm gonna um, just zoom in a little bit so you can see what the skin looks like up close. But really, if you're just kind of quickly looking um, on both sides, you really can't tell a whole big difference. So as you can see, they both definitely make the skin look flawless while still letting a little bit of the skin breathe through. Um, it's pretty full coverage once it's built up right now. Um, and you can see it's not super, super shiny. It already is drying down to a matte on both sides. All right, so I'm gonna put those products to the side. I'm gonna um, just go in with some concealer. I'm gonna take the, sharp, the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium underneath the eyes and over the places that I normally want to highlight and conceal. 
just to see how that works over the, the foundation as well, if there's any difference between the two. Because I have to say, I've used these kind of separately, but I've obviously never compared them side by side, so I'm not really sure what to expect. All right, well, they both seem to really blend into the foundation pretty much the same. I probably could even go a shade lighter in the um, Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so both sides, the um, the Tarte Shape Tape really setting really nice over the skin, looks really flawless, um, highlighted again, looking pretty matte still. Um, I'm going to set underneath my eyes um, and where I highlighted with my Cover FX setting powder and my um, Real Technique setting brush, um, just again under the eyes and where um, and where we highlighted. Okay, and then again over the rest of the skin using that same um, Real Technique setting brush and into the, the Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder by Soap and Glory. Um, and it has a little bit of a yellow undertone, which I actually find across the skin um, because I feel like it gives me kind of like a nice brightening effect as well. And just kind of dust some of that over the rest of the skin so we have a really nice matte look. And again, even in these just in these first few minutes, I'm even looking up like super, super close with my mirror here. And I'm not really noticing any difference. I'm not really noticing any cakiness um, or anything on the skin. So both sides are looking really good at this point. Um, all right, so I'm going to go on and do my um, contour blush and some bronzer, and I will be right back. Okay, so I put the rest of my makeup on. I'm just going to take a quick look at, at the skin before I set it. Um, again, everything is still looking really even um, from one side to the other. I'm noticing this side, there's just a little tiny bit more creasing, and it just looks a little bit less skin-like on this side versus this side. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's a little bit more of a sheer formula compared, not, not that it's sheer, it's still medium coverage, but it's just a slightly lighter coverage. Um, so this side definitely sees, seems a little bit more skin-like. However, with that, I am just seeing a little bit, I have some large pores like right underneath um, kind of my eyes, like in between my eyes and my nose here. And I am just seeing a little bit more of the pores on this side than I am on that side. So this side's a tiny bit cakier, but does have a little bit more coverage. Um, I'm just gonna set it all with my NYX Matte Finish um, Long Last Setting Spray. Alrighty. Um, so this, I've really set my skin up to, or I've set my makeup up to really, really last all day. So um, I am going to head into work and I will check back with, in with you guys much later tonight. Okay, so we are back after almost 10 hours. Um, I've had this on all day at work. Um, I did do a little bit of touch-ups um, just because I was going on camera. Um, so I just did a little bit of powder and just um, added a little bit more concealer under my eyes. I had kind of rubbed a little bit right kind of in the inner corner. So I added a little bit of concealer um, and did powder, but I really didn't touch the skin much other than that. Um, I probably tried to like leave it all day to give you guys a really, really good impression. Um, so just looking at the skin, like I'm really trying to take like a really close look to compare both sides. I'm seeing really very little difference. I have to say this, um, the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte still definitely has a little bit more of a full on coverage. Um, and it is a little bit heavier on the skin where the photo ready um, is a little bit more sheer and light, but I really feel like I'm still getting coverage fairly equally on both sides. You can definitely just see a little bit of a difference in the formula. Um, I did have a little bit of um, foundation rub off on my actual like nose area, just more like on the bridge and like a little bit in the center. Um, and I noticed just probably, again, probably maybe just from, from rubbing my eyes, but um, I did have a little bit wearing off around that area as well. Um, but I'm really looking on the, the chin, the nose, I'm not really seeing any caking, just a little bit around the very, very edge of the nose. Um, but for just, you know, a day in the office, I'm really happy with both sides of the makeup. Kind of, I'm just trying to just even look at my mirror a little bit further away to see if one side is, is showing better than the other. Um, I'm gonna let you zoom me in and let you take a closer look and, and you can help me decide. So as you saw, there's definitely a little bit of oil on my skin now. Um, I did powder probably about like an hour ago at this point, maybe a little bit more than that. So there definitely is some oil, and especially under the lights, you can really kind of see where I'm shiny. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with it. I would definitely say um, I would reuse both of these foundations, um, but I really think that the Wet n Wild Photo Ready Finish for the slightly cheaper price and a little bit of the lighter look on the skin. Um, it provides that coverage, but it just is a little bit more of a skin-like feel. Like this side I feel like looks like has foundation versus this side just looks like my skin looks really awesome today. Um, so again, it's, it is a different formula. It, you know, if you're, if you're looking for the really full-on, um, you know, matte, 
uh, full coverage, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mask, the way to go. But if you are looking for something that, again, gives you that full coverage, makes the skin look really awesome, but yet still looks a little bit more by skin, uh, like skin, I would go with the Wet n Wild Photo Ready uh, Foundation. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, and I have to just say before I go, um, just from coming back from, from doing the news tonight, um, there is so much going on in the country right now. Um, and to anyone who is affected by any of the hurricanes, Hurricane Harvey, Irma, um, Maria, that, that just devastated Puerto Rico, the, the anyone impacted by the earthquake in Mexico City that has killed so many people, um, you know, the wildfires out west, there is really a lot going on right now. Um, and, and to not even get started on the political climate as well. So um, I just hope that anyone that was impacted by any of the natural disasters um, is, is getting help, is doing okay. Um, we're definitely praying for you and keeping you in our thoughts. I just wanted to definitely um, just make sure to mention that. So thinking of all of you out there, whether or not you're impacted um, by these disasters recently, um, hope this video was uh, something a little bit different, but something that was helpful for you. Hope you have a great week. Please like and subscribe.